The Federal Open Market Committee again raised the benchmark federal funds rate a quarter of a point in its July meeting. More important were the clear indications, both in the formal discussion delivered by Fred Chairman Jerome Powell and his answers to questions that chances remain high, though not absolute, of another rate hike in September. That leaves the biggest question, given the inflation slowdown in June, what will it take for them to stop the hikes and what will the new normal look like? Well, the jobs market has remained tight. Over the past three months, job gains have averaged 244,000 jobs per month, a pace below that seen earlier in the year, but still strong pace, he said. The unemployment rates remain, rate remains low at 3.6%, and there are some continuing signs that supply and demand in the labor market are coming into better balance. The labor force participation rate has moved up since last year, particularly for individuals aged 25 to 54 years. Nominal wage growth has shown some signs of easing and job vacancies have declined so far this year. While the jobs to workers gap has narrowed, labor demand still substantially exceeds the supply of available workers. And inflation is still far above the 2% the Fed wants to see. Inflation has moderated somewhat since the middle of last year, Powell said. Nonetheless, the process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go. Despite elevated inflation, longer-term inflation expectations appear to remain well anchored, as reflected in a broad range of surveys of households, businesses, and forecasters, as well as measures from financial markets. Powell did address the drop in inflation in June, saying the June CPI report, of course, was welcome, but it's only one report, one month's data. We hope that inflation will follow a lower path, but we don't know that. In answering a question, he said, at the margin, stronger growth could lead over time to higher inflation, and that would require an appropriate response from monetary policy. The answers and projections of potential for at least one additional rate hike this year struck some in CRE badly. Do I think they should have done something different? Yes, said Moody's Analytics, head of commercial real estate economics, Thomas LaSalvia, in a statement. Lag in shelter spot prices and PPI wholesale prices getting into final goods and service prices means that there should be a good amount more of a decline coming without another rate hike. One more meeting of a pause with two more jobs reports and CPI reports before the next meeting in September would have given enough data to truly determine the best next steps. Powell counters this with core inflation still being too high and needing to see supply and demand balance particularly in the labor market. Or as LaSalvia said in summation, given this policy move, along with other economic data over the last couple of months, show that higher for longer is here to stay and that the economy and commercial real estate will be in a transition period. Now, if you're in need of an experienced commercial real estate broker, I can be reached at 281-222-0433. I appreciate your time and have a good day.